Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. I'm trying to survive as long as possible in legendary Iron Man land with about 90 plus mods. It is not easy as things are not really going our way. But today we're continuing Eastern Europe's mission operation Buried Omen. It is one where we could win an engineer and a lot of intel, but it is also one where there are quite a few phantoms. So uh, that means we got to be careful with uh, the mind control. I'm even considering giving the second uh, the second uh, mind shield over to Grell. We do have one uh, revive, um, and we do have a few. We do have a few uh, blue screen rounds. So we're bringing the A team: Dilly G, Cannon, Grell, Sonar, um, and unfortunately the others were busy. So Bubble and Endors are stepping in. I am still contemplating though what the right equipment is. Keep in mind, I. Um, the uh, prime team always has kind of their pick of the litter uh, they can take whatever equipment they want and the rest essentially got to deal with the scraps we haven't yet uh, mm, uh, researched the hunter weapon so dvg is still on a normal sniper but we got a nice little upgrade at the big guns so plasma all around and also heavy armor i think this extra uh, the hit points will go a long way as we can see quite a few um, quite a few advents here armor penetration uh, is good via grell euler is having the death from above situ uh, situation so we gave him <coughs> venom rounds the only thing that i'm wondering is what's our counterplay against uh, the specters and maybe it is really just a revival protocol i don't have a great answer other than that at the moment let's see how well we're doing pretty sure it's going to be all right the prime team is still good and we just hit kind of another uh, another spike uh, power spike as our guns have upgraded including the plus one damage as well as uh, the plasma uh, heavy guns so we should be fine but we shouldn't underestimate uh, the mission. It was uh, called out to be very difficult, so I'm expecting exactly that. Good, we landed. Let's take a good look. And the first thing that we're seeing is a the exit zone, the extraction, and our target is there. So a huge part of the map is unused. Whilst that might seem like a great great option on the first uh, glance it actually isn't because it, uh, there it uh, prevents us from having a front to back uh, fighting situation where there is a clear way forward and can kind of lead us to open quite scrappy flanking situations Understood. Moving out. nice 22 hit points and 14 shield this is so mad with the new equipment as well as just great uh, pcs's you end up in a fantastic spot okay dilly g the protagonist snipers back in the house uh, typically i don't didn't want to use the a team but here we go um where is a good spot i would assume we're going to fight somewhere here Might as well actually move him up. Endors for aiming angles could stand over here. I think that's fine. Still thinking that the street might be a bit of a problem. Grell moves up and it's really a double move, which is not surprising in a first round. Euler takes the high ground here. And bubble supports on the left flank. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Easy. Okay, 
Armored Psy Viper. Well, that sounds like a fun little enemy. So technically, technically, we should be good to engage them. The question is, is it necessary to do that this round or can we simply move on and engage them next turn? Again, first things first. There is a potential hack to be had. Grell moves up. I'll give it a shot. And let's check what we could get. That's not bad. If we're if we're ending up to not uh, engage this turn. We might just increase uh, the vision range. Why not? Moving on target location. Good. Bubble moves forward as well. Oh, and we could double kill zone if we were to play that right. Nice. I like it. You know what, for now, let's just overwatch. Next turn, we're going to engage. Got it covered. Scanning. <laughs> okay, cool. Ooh, it's getting better and better. I love it. Enemy patrol on the move. I will reposition. Should have deployed the turret last turn. That might have uh, interrupted our our stealth here so Cannon and him are a team and I do have an idea how we can still get the turret off that's first of all kill zone into another kill zone Nice, we could even hack these guys. Great, I love it. Let's see, we do have threat assessment, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Good. Which means in, we do have Guardian. Yes, we also have Guardian. All right. So we're giving, uh, Grell gives herself an aid protocol. That means she can overwatch. And with that, potentially shoot multiple times. Oh, wow. Look, I mean... That's oh, almost too good to not take it, right? Explosion on top of it. Oh yeah, we're we're going to do that. Good, it's on.
<laughs> oh, that's a kill right away. Fantastic. The Armored Viper looks good. It looks fantastic. Good. That's one down. Oh, I think the game, again, doesn't like the whole Overwatches, but we're getting there. AP rounds missed, that's unfortunate. Could have hit and continued our overwatch. Lots and lots and lots of overwatch shots. Good, let's have our protocol, because why not? Shutdown is cool, but wouldn't it be even cooler if we would control it? Hell yeah, and this channel is known for coolness, so... Grell, that's what I'm talking about. Just got ourselves an advent spark. In reasonable condition. I made a may ask uh, Ed. Good, so we're looking at four eight. Uh, that is a solid kill. Before we do that, um, I wanted to use advanced teamwork. And now I promised we will find a way to get that turret in. <laughs> that is that is just mean putting it on high ground here that's actually good good angles all around all right daily g great Softening up the purifier, armor penetration. No, I think we're fine. But this here could be a good hit. Alright, so what are we dealing with? Seven, nine, that's all killable. Let's wait with the tower for a second and first of all clean up this mess. Eight points of damage. Oh yeah. There you go. Euler's task here is to just shred through them. And like I said, we uh, currently do have the advantage we currently do have uh, the advantage of a research breakthrough Grell could uh, could actually benefit from getting an extra action yeah why not let's do that teamwork No, no, no. We wanted to run and gun. So now moves in. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I think that's still fine. All right, he dodged. That is lamentable. Good. 
good, fantastic. So now, as we were saying, seven points, that is a kill. Seven plus three, that is still a kill. Fantastic. And this here should still be a kill. Good, good. Yeah, we do not want uh, we do not want any any grenades on the rooftop. So I wanted to kill the um, the purifier here. Put hand over an action and then simply kill both of these guys. Questions: Do we really want to do that? I think. In a longer term perspective, that would be not really advisable. Under drone here. Nah, I much ra much rather would move slightly forward or reload. Reloaded this. Okay. So we do have the Chosen here. Uh, okay. The Warlock. Oh, interesting. You have been judged. You have been judged. Shadow Sap can summon reveals all units immune to critical strikes, but um, hates close range attacks and Templars. Unfortunately, we don't have either of those. There's the blade storm. No, that's a miss. We are immune to being stunned, so really nothing happening here. The Reapers could kill the purifier. Decides to instead go for bubble. And instead to uh, help us with the drone, which I appreciate. Oh wow, that is nasty. Bubble is now taking way too much damage here. All right, let's start with our turret. And very much continue with our Mac, really. I would propose we are jumping down. Not a problem. Good. That offers uh, the mech here the ability to just ruin everybody's day. Okay, fantastic. Great. Uh, micro missiles, by the way.
good. Euler, who is supposed to be bringing death from above. Only has one target here. All right, so. I'm just trying to remove all of these. Very good. Good, we potentially could move on further. Moving to take the loot. Superior repeater. That is, under normal circumstances, a phenomenal loot. I'm not sure yet what I should think about the, uh, the new repeaters. Good, untouchable, implacable. That's good. Good, we're healing up. And I think it's just double healing for now. Hate to do it, but okay, whatever. Free reload. We know the enemies are back there. Might as well position us over here. That should not trigger anything. Endos moves to... That's a close call. Given that we can climb up here, I think it's almost... Nah, there is not enough vision range. Can't really see anything from there. So we could move to here, or we're just sprinting and trying to get there next turn. Oh, we also need to reload, so... Uh, I'm... Am I feeling uh, adventurous? I think this here... This here should be not flankable. Not really. Um, and I would argue... And with not flankable, I actually mean they won't move in and directly shoot, but who knows, right? Good. I'll just provide cover with the shield, because those two will now get medium cover. Overwatch with the turret. And the mech is going to be our frontliner. I can sense it. One of us has returned to the elders. Their form in this world is lost forever. We've spotted the chosen. Get ready to fight. I call Very nice. So, a couple of uh, purge enemies. Can summon three of them. Oh, come on, not Euler. I think Flashbang is not breaking his uh, his mind control, which is really a problem. But we'll figure that out in a second. So for now, moving up.
removing most of uh, the cover. Cool, that worked. Good, we'll come to them in a second. Out of curiosity, bond made here. They would be bond made, so technically. Technically, he should stop the mind control. Now, I need a kill. And then moving further forward. move to here but that is burning and i'm not sure if it's a great place to position ourselves it is actually good uh, but uh, the the fire might um, cause it to be a problem going forward this here isn't bad either Enerus just really tries to soften up the targets Okay, cool. Good, moving up. Still trying to just blow all of this up. Good. This should be shredding and removing all of the cover. Very good. Great hit. Oh, decent hit. Oh, I was hoping we would get a third uh, shot out of it. That's unfortunate. say eh, we can't move uh, we know there is another pack here so that's not going to fly moving over okay so now the core question is we do have a bond Will this interrupt the bond, or will I make a huge mistake? Uh, will this interrupt the mind control? There you go. Very good. So much for your puny mind control. Fantastic. Good, let's start. This guy needs to die. And the Perch Heavy needs to die. Very nice. And we could double shoot, but that would uh, double shoot would not be as efficient. 
I would much rather Ah, uh, we don't have I was thinking about dual strike but that would equally not be really although it would be his sniper rifle You know what? This here is going to shred him completely. Might as well. Alright. Come on. Hair trigger? Yeah, we don't want the vision range. He doesn't trigger Overwatch, so that is uh, that would be a futile effort. We position ourselves here. That's almost asking for trouble in terms of um, in terms of uh, chain stun. Rel moves down. And let's take that hack. So far, uh, despite the very difficult uh, statement, it's actually not that very difficult. Uh, the Chosen was taken down, relatively speaking, easy so far. And we had two massive packs that we were fighting. Yeah, Spectral Army, I would say. Plus, okay, of course, reinforcements are coming. Oh, that is... I'm, I am sure this is Bio Mech Trooper. No, I thought it was kind of that new um, Spectre slash Mech. But it isn't. Chosen teleports the mech. No, himself. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, uh, no problem with that. And to absolutely no one's surprise, it is Spectral Army's turn. <laughs> Those won't help you, my friend. A couple of Spectral Lancers, 10 hit points. Okay, cool. Your forces will perish, and you will return to the elders, Commander. Mech moves down, and we still have one more micro missile shot. And we shall use exactly that. Biomech Trooper. Wow, nice voice picks. Appreciate that. Good, we got some squad side here. The fire support of the turret is is incredibly good. I mean, it's dealing a lot of damage, and just keep in mind it is happening every single round, right? OK. 
Okay, maybe we need to clean up a little bit. How about this here? Implacable just moves up. Good. If we use cereal, we could potentially get a few of them down. But the main question, of course, is going to be how to handle the warlock, right? Okay. Yeah, might might not be the right turn for cereal yet. We got blue screen rounds here, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Let's set up that hunter drone first. Okay, that worked, and that worked very well. We could use a frost bomb against the massive mech there. I wish I could threaten this guy. Unfortunately, I can't. Moving over to flank him. Good, that's two down. Three down. That gets the Warlock back into action. And for now we're dealing with like what? Five, ten points of damage. That should be a kill. Okay, cool. That should be a kill. The advantage of death from above with a massive gun. Love it. Softening this guy up. So that's another kill. I think we have one more turn with the Advent Spark. Gotta do something with the Commando there. Not the perfect shot, but one that could work. Okay. Sniper will help him. Two dodged uh, shots. That is... Not what I was expecting. I could have been a nice little kill. 
Unfortunately, it was not. So naturally, let's give an aid protocol over so that we do have uh, that we do a threat assessment. Oh, should have killed the Mac. Good, okay, cool. Well, the biggest problem is Dilly G has taken a plasma shot. Not good, not good at all. All right, run and gun it is. Let's solve uh, the problem with this uh, commando here. I'm all out. Moving. Moving up. Good to go. Reload and kill the spark. Bubble, are you kidding me? I'm on a roll. All right. Our little way of saying thank you. That thing has 15 defense. And it's outside of our vision range. Okay, cool. Quite a bit of armor to chew through as well. Good, I do have an idea. Nice, advanced scope is always welcome. Good, this should solve the problem for now. Very good. Advanced teamwork. And I think we've almost cleared the map in like three turns. Good, we need to afterwards go there, so there's actually no reason not to just stay where we are. And Overwatch. Good, last heal. And we've topped off Dilly G. Good. 14 hit points isn't as much if you really think about it. Good. Handing a kill over. And what I would want to do is get in here. Let's rock. Oiler moves to high ground. Reload. Ready to engage. 
pretty sure we have just cleared the entire map. Moving over. And Tower Overwatches. Nice. Four turns. And they never saw it coming. The beauty of high level XCOM. <laughs> when you're when you're effectively pulling two packs and it is a breeze in the afternoon. Oh, enemy protocol hundred percent chance to get her head hex set up. And that is so wonderful of the game to offer us those rewards. Cool. Grell is even getting better. All right, I was wondering if we could reach it in one turn. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Bubble is moving over. Look, and I think Grell can just move into cover for now. Good, there is no enemy turn. No, there is n no enemy on the map, so I don't even need to overwatch li uh, like an idiot. Yeah, we're just staying on high ground in case something happens. I think we can evac everybody within the next two turns. Here I come. What's over there? Moving to Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Got it covered. Good, no clue. Maybe reinforcements are arriving and they can immediately act. Who knows? I've seen some weird stuff during this campaign. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Ten four. Go, go, go. Okay, so I would say overall that went as expected. We have a power spike, like I mentioned. Euler's weapon is ridiculously strong at the moment. But the bigger enemies that you've seen and the absence of high ground could make uh, our, our death from above abuse a bit more problematic. Certainly not saying no to the uh, extra five um, ability points. And overall, it was a very smooth mission given the difficulty. It was only 27 enemies and only like pack sizes of six or seven. So easy. Good, we're back and we've just landed. Cool, two promotions on top of it. Richter finally gets his uh, final tier, Rapid Fire. Such an ultra good skill. Reaper also very nice. Bubble got a promotion as well. We're going with Chain Shot because that is needed in this campaign. We need the Shred, we need, we need the damage. And uh, we now got Colonel, 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 three Colonels, plus an advanced scope, like it. Engineer on top of it. I think we can't really use an Engineer at the moment, but I am thinking about putting a laboratory in here once I do have a bit more money. Richter can immediately go for negative trade recovery. And do we need to do resistance contacts? No, we don't. We need to make contact because I want the Avatar project to not finish. And instead go for 
um, one of the facilities here. Okay, so far so good. Before we are now going on, let's see. Um, we can still improve uh, the resistance comms, right? Upgrade, 125 supplies, easy. Just need that extra cash. So instead of scanning seven days, I would do that. By the way, we do have 202 intel. I need to visit the black market anyways. Maybe there is something for me to buy. I am addicted to PCSs and weapon attachments. All the good uh, jazz that will make us stronger. First of all, let's sell a couple of things. We need money. No. Chrysalid Broodmothers. That's oh, not happening. But I could sell a bit of Valerium, I guess. Wait a second, we're buying. Uh, superior focus, mm, not so good. Repeater. Mm. Yeah, really not what I was hoping for. I mean, the laser size is K, but doesn't f uh, function together with the scope and I really want to get the superior scope instead. Superior expanded, uh, superior scope, uh, superior expanded magazine, superior hair trigger even would be fine, superior auto loader. Those are the ones that I would be interested in. And literally anything but superior focus, which I think uh, is a bit useless. Resistance communications facility Good, got some spare engineers, four extra contacts, and look at that. We have five additional contacts from where we had been before. Might as well make contact here, you know. Uh, that gives us yet an, uh, the access to yet another facility. So the moment that the Avatar project gets worse, we can start a raid on uh, these facilities. Cool, double agent. That is what I was looking for. Great, and we wanted another resistance order, that instant uh, connection. Should have maybe even taken that earlier. Good. Double sniper to go onto that mission. And here we go. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Uh, unfortunately, supply drop will happen earlier. But okay, going forward, we will have it. That will prevent us from always needing to scan. And what are we really dealing with? Uh, in terms of dark events, Arbogate, okay, so cool, this is uh, our mission. I'm not going to do anything but Arbogate. And we have a Colonel Sharpshooter in there. Oh, wow, the game wants us to get some better roster. Thunder Mountain, yeah, we're, we're going to go with uh, Arbogate. Marauders are operating in here, so that might be difficult. And what are we dealing with? Uh, the rest is actually relatively calm. I mean, look at it. Mutant, Mutant, Chrysalids, an unknown enemy. That could be really anything. Uh, I think that's the ball sack here, a scrotum. Mech Algorith. Okay, cool. So that's the new mech that can clone us. Uh, General, yeah, I... Still, I think that's okay. Let's take a short look at our soldiers. Uh, Sona will stop with the negative trade recovery, I guess.
I mean, can we do it with the B team? Could interrupt that bond training. So we had one, two, three. It's Arbor skates, so I can don't mess around, but it was an e easier mission, so that should be fine, right? Slicinator will be very soon untired, so we can actually time it so that it's Slicinator plus Rust, that's good. Got dual specialist if we take implacable attacks here. Who's our sniper in that case? Endos is tired. Not good. I will figure something out. I mean, um, most of these are, uh, most of the soldiers are fine. Just trying to really level the remaining ones of the A team. At this point, I have to wonder what the A-team looks like. I mean, it's potentially uh, Sonar, DLG, Cannon, that's a given. And um, the specialist would be Russ. Uh, no, Brel, sorry. So those are the four. Then Hogbite and potentially a psionically active character once we get them. Okay, so let me let me uh, figure out the team. I think we can do it, although it won't be simple, and we still need more supplies uh, to further upgrade. So let's take a look. Where do we stand research-wise? So we got the modular sniper rifles, which are almost done. I am very hopeful that 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 will happen. Then we uh, need the uh, the uh, autopsy of uh, the Archon, which we find where exactly? Have we even killed a normal Archon? I love it how the game just locks you out. Can research a rift keeper but that wouldn't really help us so yeah plasma lands not happening might as well then uh straight up move to the hunter's weapons which are which the only plasma lands that we do have thumbs up so unless we're finding an archon no plasma lances but okay let's not uh, immediately get discouraged so th that would be the next one 10 days and then it's uh mm, Psionics and all of that takes such a long time, which is a testament of our eight um, uh, scientists. So, some of the money that we do have that we will get, I think we should invest into a laboratory and then upgrade it. Some additional money we should definitely invest into upgrading that resistance ring for more resistance orders, uh, that uh, so that we get that uh, third order. And then we need Guerrilla Tactics School Tactics as well, because we have um, enough high-level soldiers, and these are just straight-up buffs that uh, that would be available for everyone. And for 200 a pop, they are okay. Um, can't really complain. In terms of proving ground, what's the plan here, Saiken? So we do have two cores, uh, which could get us one, ref, uh, one war suit. And with a war suit, we should be able to load heavy weapons. And I mean, a good shred storm cannon uh, or a good uh, blaster launcher should actually work incredibly well. It's still one of the stronger uh, alternatives, specifically when the enemies are clustering up. So might as well consider doing that. And someone like, uh, say, Someone like Euler, for instance, could get this here and use it in order to just soften up uh, en uh, the enemies. 
or someone else uses it to soften up the enemies if they have uh, salvo i'm pretty sure one of uh, the core team members of the prime team has um, has salvo so yeah and then it would be experimental heavy weapons um I know there's the heavier version, but I think we need to build the war suit before we can do that. And yeah, that's that would be it here. I'm still concerned about uh, the research. There's way too much, uh, way too many items to research. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're soon going to fight against the recursor, so the the first um, uh, the first side project that the aliens finished. Uh, let's first of all survive that and see how it goes from there. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are behind your own research, uh, then uh, uh, click the thumbs up button. I've heard that that will help our uh, team to get a few more a uh, few more research days in. Thank you and see you in two days. Bye bye.